Hello everybody, welcome back to the range. Tom here, and today we're doing three. We're doing a blast lane, a water dragon, a pit cruiser. And what we're going to do today with this is we're going to make it into one. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to do a bike build for a while. And, you know, I just kind of threw these out there just like just to see what I could do to them. And I really like the results. And I hope you all do. So why don't we head on down to the range and let's get started. You know... This, what a drag, I thought it was pretty cool casting. I found this one particular at a little thrift store. I got another one still in the package. Um, I'm probably going to be using the engines for some cars and stuff because it had some really cool engines on them. And this blast lane, uh, it this one's like actual frame kind of splits into two. Not all of them are like that. And I got the pit cruiser because I've had a couple of extra ones. I was wanting to use the engine off of it but the engine's not the only thing i used on it i ended up using the front end and the the handlebars you know i was really excited about doing this i kind of had an idea so i already pre-drilled them off just to kind of get an idea of how i was going to put them together what parts i was going to use and you know i didn't use much from the blast lane i, I just kind of left it the way it was you know, I just took the good tank off of it and, you know, just used this portion of it. And, you know, the, the hardest part was getting everything to combine and, you know, everything actually combined a lot easier than I expected it was going to. Um, it ended up turning out to be a pretty easy build once I actually got what I was going to do to it. And I'm kind of mocking it up right now just to give you guys an idea of what it may look like and it was like i said it was a real easy building you know i'm a big motorcycle fan i've had three motorcycles in my life you know i love to ride i love to you know be on two wheels and you know it's just and it and it's been a while since i've did a motorcycle on my channel so, you know, like I said, I was going to use the engine part for something else. So I just cut the back half off where it looked like the swing arm would be. So I, I cut that off, you know, and the hardest part, you know, I thought about, you know, kind of making a platform to set it on to where it would line up with the engine that came from the pit cruiser. You know, because I wanted to use the engine, and the, the pit cruiser engines are actually really cool. And I'm probably going to end up taking another one if I can find one and using the engine on like a hot rod or something, or, you know, just kind of souping it up, making it look cool. Because I think it would look freaking awesome on like an old rat rod or something using this engine from the pit cruiser. And I have one hanging up, so I might end up doing that later on down the road for a future build. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure it was nice and flat for the plastic portion of it. And a lot of people have trouble taking these wheels out of the actual motorcycle castings, but they're actually really simple. You can take like a straight pick or you can take a uh, small screwdriver and just poke it through where the axle goes and push it out the other side and it will come out and it's easy to put back in. Um... Like I said, I, I ended up cutting this little portion away. And I actually didn't do too bad of a job, you know, cutting that off. You know, I had to spread out the exhaust a little bit. I filed them down, you know, tried to get them as smooth as I possibly could just to get it. But like, like I said, in order to fit the swing arm back half of the water drag, I had to kind of spread out the exhaust a little bit. Not too much. You can't really tell that I did that. Because the way everything lined up, it turned out amazing. Everything flowed. Even the paint job, I kind of... I didn't feel like taping it off, so I kind of did some hand painting. And you'll see that uh, towards the end of the video. Because I actually showed a little bit of the painting. You know, I, I got it set up, you know, and here I am prying apart the exhaust. And honestly, I think the motorcycles are fun to build. I really do. I, I like building the motorcycles. I like souping them up. You know, the the gas tank from the blast lane was a little small. But you'll kind of see what I did 
here in a little bit. Um, I had to do a lot of filing because I, when I when I put it together, I wanted to make sure that the top half of the blast lane fit perfectly on the top of the engine and matched up with the swing arm portion. And honestly, it turned out so much better than I actually expected it was going to. So, you know, it, it the final results video uh, video portion of it, and, and I, 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 I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Um, you guys know we got the four horsemen build coming up. It's the '55 uh, Bel Air into a post-apocalyptic theme, and you guys will see that later on. Um, I haven't started on it yet, but. I'm soon going to be starting on it, probably in the next week or so. Um, it's still mid-month, so I'm probably going to do another video. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, you guys have probably noticed I, I'm not putting out my videos as much as I used to, like daily. I'm actually taking more time planning my next build, and then I build them. You know, I got, I got a bunch of bunch of castings that I picked out that I'm wanting to do. Um, I, I'm really not for sure what I'm going to be doing on my next build, but I did tell you guys a few videos back that I was going to be doing a motorcycle build. Well, here it is. Uh, it, it's finally here. You know, it didn't take me a lot long to build it. The, long, the part that took the longest was letting the paint dry, letting, you know, the glue settle in. And, you know, I used the insta set to help with that but that's all right you know everything was going together you know the hardest part was trying to figure out how to paint it but i ended up figuring it out because i ended up having a chrome pen and it helped out tremendously and you know i let it dry long enough to be able to put a clear coat on it it still looks good you know i didn't put no decals on here it, it just it wouldn't have suited right being this kind of, the way I did it, I didn't want to put any decals on it. I really didn't. I didn't really feel like messing with them. And plus, I thought it looked better without having decals. Because this this is a drag bike that, you know, I just kind of felt like doing. And like I said, this engine looks awesome. Imagine what it would look like in a hot rod of some sort. I'm probably going to have to, like, modify the exhaust a little bit before I put it in the hot rod. But that's okay. That's the fun part about these builds. You can just do it however you want. And I had these three castings. I had extras of them just laying around. Except for the... Uh, I actually do have one more water drag. And one more pit cruiser. But I don't think I have any more of those. But honestly, the things you could take from these videos as well as mine... Um, Paul from Diecast Graveyard. You got Maple Leaf Customs. Andrew over there in Switzerland. Great guy. Both of them gentlemen. Um, the, the the customs, the you know the the deals. The yeah, I'm all tongue twisted today. The castings that they do just turn out phenomenal. And I'm working on trying to do better videos. I'm trying to do better customs. Trying to do a little more. Um, detailed customs i should say where i actually you know try to put a little more detail on them make them look a little better and not i don't know but you know you, you see that i'm doing a lot of, of trimming and cutting and modifying and honestly it, it it works out you know it turns out that everything was working really good i cut out the trim on the front portion of it because I wanted to kind of give it more of that motorcycle front end look. And boy, did it ever give it that look. I was, like I said, I was really happy about the way this thing turned out. Um, I know it's been probably almost a week since my last video. So, you know, I've been working on this one for about three or four days. I think total is what I've been working on this one for. Uh, just finished it up, had to get it out there, you know, everything still rolls and sitting on the turntable just it looks phenomenal 
you know, my lighting ain't so good, but I'm working on that. I'm trying to get some better lighting. My camera's not that bad. It's just the lighting. So if I can figure out a way to get some better lighting, I could do the better videos. But, you know, everything already is all stripped down. You know, I put the, the, before I glued on the swing arm portion of it, I put it in some oven cleaner. I put a um, body in some uh, gun oil, a.k.a. citrus strip. And, you know, just once everything got stripped down and everything, it was easier for me to actually piece it all together, get it all ready, and kind of see exactly how it was going to look. And from the start, like, I, honestly, I just really was impressed with how everything looked on this and how everything pieced together good. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but... That's the best thing about doing customs. You know, you, you, you just, there's so much stuff you can do with some of these castings. And it, it, your imagination is the limit. You can, whatever you can think of, I guarantee you, you could probably, you know, just, I don't know, just make anything you want. So what I'm going to be doing, probably my next video, um, I'm going to be putting a buddy build challenge out there to anybody that wants to do a build challenge against me. Um, the thing is, I don't get to choose anything. The, the person that will accept my challenge chooses the due date, chooses... Uh, We'll choose the casting. Hopefully, I'll have it. And the theme. So, if anybody wants to actually do a buddy challenge with me and do a one for one swap, I'd be more than happy to do that. Because, like I said, I'm always trying to come up with more ideas. You guys have seen some of my videos. You guys have seen what I can do out of just anything, pretty much. I, I built trailers, I built haulers, I built robots, I built everything. So, and, and that's the thing is that's, that's what I'm talking about by the imagination is the limit. You know, I'm taking this, uh, milliput, this, uh, two part milliput epoxy, uh, Bondo, whatever it's called. And I'm actually making the tank bigger because I didn't really like the size of the blast lane tank. It was just too small. It didn't fit the, the, the whole theme didn't fit the custom size or anything like that so i i needed to kind of add to it make it bigger you know give it that bigger more drag style tank and all in all like everything went perfect you know after everything was dried you know being able to sand it down smoothed it over painted it the whole nine yards and it still fit together perfectly i was i was really happy about the way everything just flowed into place it sat perfectly where it needed to be and it looks good on my shelf i'll tell you that much right now you know my favorite part is you know this custom uh copper this burnt copper that i custom made a while back first time i've used it in a while um that's kind of what i used to do the entire body first you know i already pre-chromed with the chrome pen the exhaust on the bottom portion of the the motorcycle and you know what i'm doing is i'm taking this black paint and i'm painting up the fin you know just kind of doing some small details here and there um i kind of filled in some of the little gaps you know, kind of tried to put a little more different color patterns in it and i'm glad i did because it actually made it stand out a lot better you know, I painted the valve covers and, you know, just kind of detailed it up as best as I could to get it to where it actually would look good all together. You know, the detailing was, it was actually, it wasn't the hard part. It really wasn't. It was just trying to make sure I had the paint that I wanted to use. You know, I'm kind of, I didn't have no black regular paint. And I didn't feel like taping everything off and painting it that way. So I just took some uh, 
a black paint pen and just kind of squeeze some paint out of it onto a piece of styrene and use that to paint onto the car. And I took this little small little red paint. I had to do a couple coats, you know, to get it to fill in and kind of smooth out and stuff. And, you know, it, it like red. I, I, I didn't know what color to go with at first, but then I started doing the red and I was like, you know what? This really looks good on here. I'm really happy with the way that turned out and how the red just kind of looks. Um, and I'm going to try to start doing a little bit more detailing. Like I said, detailing painting. You know, I ended up painting the headlight. I painted the front fender area, part of the gas tank, part of the back of the bike. And I ended up chroming the front all up, as you see here. And, you know, it honestly, it looks really good together. I was really happy with the way the pattern goes together here's the bottom part all detailed up you know, i'm waiting for the paint to dry and i'm going to be detailing up the seat and you know i really am stoked about getting this into clear coat and i'm really happy that you know the clear coat dry pretty quick and everything was easy to put together these three castings are what we started off with from left to right, the pit cruiser, the uh, what a drag, and the blast lane. All three good castings, pretty cool pieces. Yeah, I know the what a drag's not a bike, but the other two are. And I just wanted to do a combination build just to see what I could come up with. But without further ado, let's check out the final results. And I'll see you next time at the range.